There are things I need of you, things you may not understand and may not wish to do, but please do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, sent me a letter last year that led me into all this. To think that such a small event can change your life in such a violent way. I still have no idea who Philip is talking to. I wonder if we'll learn who it is during the course of this game. Anyways, welcome everyone. It is I, Duplication, and welcome to Penumbra Black Plague, the sequel to Penumbra Overture. I'm very excited to check this game out. Uh, I've actually had a tough time getting this recording set up to work, so I'm just going to dive right in because I'm excited to play it. Before we get into this though, Black Plague, uh, I'm guessing that's in reference to the potential, like, infection that uh, people suffered from the original game. Like in Overture, the dogs and spiders appeared to be infected. Uh, the spiders had some kind of infected substance that was making... Uh, the spider dude sick, the uh, spider hater sick, and then we had the dogs who were described as infected, and then there was that guy that went crazy and blew up uh, the mine along with himself, which inevitably led to Tom Redwood getting lost, uh, not lost, but stuck in the cave system as a consequence, as well as some other people, all of which perishing before Tom, of course. I fully recommend that you check out my videos on Penumbra Overture. They were a blast to play, uh, or sorry, it was a blast to play, and I had a very good time making those videos. Now I say we get right into this. Easy for players who are bad at action games. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's me. Enemies find it harder to spot you, move slower, and deal less damage. Normal recommended suits most players. The most balanced mode to play in. Uh, players hard for players wanting a real challenge. Enemies can take more damage and are faster. Without Naturally. Without this foundation, you could not have the will to do what I must now ask of you. I followed my father to the Greenland Wastes to uncover his secrets. You had to know how far I was willing to go. I found a disused mining shaft and took shelter from the storm. You had to know how desperate I was. I was plagued by doubts, fears, and mysteries, and aided by a madman, Red. You had to know how lonely I was. I incinerated my best friend. Red told me he wanted to die. You had to know how guilty I felt. I ventured boldly onwards, and was struck down by my own heroics. You had to know how stupid I was. All of these things, so human, so perfect, and yet still I fail to do what I must now ask of you. As usual, Philip building up the intrigue, and as usual, cutting me off, I was in the middle of saying, of course I'll choose hard mode, it's always what I choose, much to my misfortune sometimes. Waking up in a dark, cold, empty room all alone that we have to find our way out of. Typical horror game start, especially for frictional games. Looks like a lot of this game is the same. It does look better, I will say. It feels better, too. A lot of this is just better. Close to freezing cold. Do you guys hear that? What the heck is that? To no one's surprise, it's locked. Is that the same guy being murdered from Amnesia to Dark Descent? What's up, buddy? It's been a while. You're still being bodied by random horrifying creatures? I swear that's like the same guy dying in every... Uh, horror sound effect in this game. In this, uh, in these games. And who was it that took me here anyways? They like, knocked me out and then threw me in here and took all my stuff. And then just said, bye. Got a coin, sweet. Absolutely useless. Various paper clippings, a, rece uh, a recipe for French toast, some sort of article covering a carnival in Reno, and uh, what I think is a stock market review from 1989. 
These are clearly some old uh, newspaper clippings in. Directions and guidelines for emergencies, not much use now. Yeah, they're barely readable. Blop. That's still really fun, I've always loved the physics in these games. Was that what I was sleeping on? Being passed out on that thing was bad enough. I'm not about to go back for seconds. That's reasonable, Philip. Dead cold, and I don't think this place is going to get any warmer. Yeah, this place looks like it would be miserable to be in. I mean, the ceiling's dripping. The ceiling looks like it might come down any second. I should get out of here. I can't stand that noise. It gives me the creeps. What the heck is this? A milk jug? An office dex, a dex, desk, but from the looks of it, someone has been using it as a workbench. Oh, okay, so they took my glow stick and threw it in the drawer, or this was just here to begin with? A glow stick should be useful. A little ghoulish, but should be decent fallback if the torch cuts out, which it always does, so I'm just always going to have it on. Ooh, this is nice. I feel like they improved the lighting. Is that just me? Between light and shadow exists an entire world. That world is necessarily our own. Get out now. You mean like get out of this room or... I mean, what do you mean? Or... Who even is or? What does it stand for? Oliver? I don't remember anyone named or in the previous game. But a bing but a... Well, actually, no, hold on. Move this out of the way, because there's a vent behind here. And now we bought a bing, but a boom, and it did nothing. Okay, gotta use the coin, an old coin. I'm not sure what country it's from. Oh, it fit in automatically. A vice in working condition, ready to squeeze anything or anyone. Dude, whose head is getting in that vice, Philip? This is like the furthest back it goes, isn't it? I squashed the coin and then, in an attempt to bring it back. Yeah, this is the furthest back it goes. That's not squishing anyone, bro. Maybe someone's finger. Hope this coin isn't valuable. Uh, something tells me that we won't have much use for value anywhere in here, Philip. It's not much use, but I guess this hole is my only way out of this hellhole. True. May 2001. I wasn't sure how long I'd been out, but my head still hurt. Either it hadn't been long, or they hit me really hard. <laughs> I didn't have a clue what was going on, and all of a sudden I really didn't care. I was getting out. I care, Philip. I mean, who would write these on the walls of the vents? Someone's sus, obviously. Ugh, what, what is that? I don't know, but it's gross and weird and freaking me out, so we're moving forward. Or backward, I guess. What the heck was that, Philip? Don't tell me you're going crazy on me, buddy. Salvation. Next thing you're gonna tell me is these letters aren't even real. Salvation? Mine or someone else's? Oh, so this was originally on the bottom of the vent before... ...whatever happened, uh, happened. Well, I guess you got my last note. That's right. Oswald! Oh no. I was It wasn't Oliver. I wish it was Oliver. Anyways. We're through the thick of it now. If you, like me, have just escaped into the ventilation, we shouldn't be far from the stronghold set up in the mess hall. Should be safe there. I've been marking my route. If you follow that, you should be fine. Almost home and dry now. I heard Howard's been working on a cure. Ooh. Maybe we can beat this thing after all. Maybe, when I get back, we'll be able to sort everything out. And by the time you make it through, you'll be just in time for tea and medals. Maybe even some hot chocolate. How about that? I can't wait. I love hot chocolate. Neil Oswald, Chief Chemist. Be careful of the mess hall security. I designed it myself. It's sensitive to organic material. Escape e note. Mm. So that wasn't for me. It was for somebody else. From a time long since past, I imagine. How? Okay, what I want to know... How during all the time that has passed since Philip sent the note, has there still been someone alive down here? Like, what the heck? That is very impressive. 
Gotta say kudos to whoever I hear die in this place. I mean, it's a shame they die at all when I get here. Fully charged batteries for my flashlight I don't have. Big strong man, Philip. Throwing items everywhere. I absolutely love Philip, by the way. I mentioned it a lot last time in Penumbra Overture, so I can't wait to play more as uh, Philip. Looks like someone intentionally tried to block this way. They did a pretty good job, too. What did they use? Dynamite? Like, what the- Dang, that's crazy. I just processed that this wasn't a natural cave-in and man-made cave-in. Gosh. More flares, by the way. More useless flares. It didn't even work against the spiders. And spoiler alert, there are no spiders, uh, spiders in this game. Oh yeah, by the way, I have beaten this game before a couple times, but I've never ever read the notes, so... Law-wise and story-wise, I never paid attention and therefore don't really know what I'm getting into. So I'm really excited to see. A functioning soda machine. Come to think of it, I wouldn't mind a drink. Soda can. It's a can of soda, not my favorite flavor, but sweet enough. Still ice cold. Well, drink up. To be honest, I would rather have a cold beer. Take what you can get, you Humpty Dumpty son of a gun. You wanna dehydrate? You wanna die? Fine by me. Don't accept my help, see where it gets you, champ. Watch your steps. Collapsed. Collapsed, not too specific. Sound advice, I think I should take it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that guy wasn't very specific at all. It's blocked up, you don't say, Philip. Ooh, more batteries. I'm gonna show you guys real quickly uh, why we should watch our steps. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I think I might have screwed myself. Hang on a second, guys. Let's see if this is a uh, rescuable. Okay, that didn't work out so well. Second attempt. Alright, Philip, less standing on the wood that you're carrying at the same time, as impressive as it is. Well, I'll just take it. Hey, that worked out pretty well. Now I've got this thing with me because I'm stupid. And I brought it with me on accident. Ka chow. Hey, that looks like it almost broke the door. I think that stuff might be cold enough to kill me. An extremely cold airflow is blocking the passage into the ventilation system. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! This is the one door I don't mind being blocked. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. What in the world was that thing? I want to see if I can break the door open. I mean, I don't, I don't want the door open, but hey. It'd be cool if I could break it open, right? Come on, Philip, come on. I don't think it's happening. It would be sweet if I could do it, though. But to be honest, I don't really want to meet that guy anyways, so... Probably for the best. The stench in here is unreal. Yeah, I would hate to be in your situation. I thought these were flares. They're just useless ketchup bottles. Some good aim there, my man, Philip. Boom! A thermostat controlling the amount of coolant running through these pipes. I remember doing this. Yeah, the cold kind is dropping the thermostat down. The thermostat, the temperature seems to have dropped. Using the soda can did have some effect on it. For some reason, I don't know how it managed to cool it down. I'm not that smart with the way... Freezer. With the way, um, coolants were. Well, okay. What the heck? You trash bag? What happened there? I guess you gotta be quick. Oh, you can't stand around and talk. You just have to move. That kind of sucks. No wonder you have more juice left over when you run out of it. 
That could be me if I don't get out of here soon. The name tag says Neil Oswald, Everyone Chief Chemist. You in the mess hall with insert today's specials here. A happy worker is an efficient worker. And only efficient workers will be fed. Yeah, okay. Thank you, announcer lady, for the very useful information. I would like to know what the, the special meal of the day is, though. I figured they would program you, or well, not program you, but I figured they would give you the voice lines to write out so that the machine can repeat what you're saying. Gosh, that's not the right way of saying it. How do I say it correctly? The point is, is I wish that you would just tell me what the food is instead of input food here. Useless. Patient notes, Darren Gray. Sex male, age 32, nationality, Australian. Or... No, I think, I think that is Australian, yeah. Role, excavation team. First symptoms, patient reported mild disorientation and was asked to lie down. Mild sedatives administered. Hour free, hour free, sorry, patient develops a rash on his neck. Possible infection entry point? Ooh. Weird. Hour four, and, and just the third hour? Hour four, two out of three full symptoms have manifested. Wow. Deja vu. Patient reports that he has already undergone standard tests when I am the only one who could have administrated them. Paranoia said testing is abhorrent to the patient. I have no doubt that the third symptom, oral distortion, will take hold within the next 30 minutes. Abnormal noises, even disembodied noises, and alternative personalities are commonly reported in other infected staff. That's fascinating. Patient secured, as per archaic standard procedure. Bolted the B word down myself. We can't protect ourselves from infection, but we can take precautions with the infected. Hour 7. Patient pronounced expired. Pronounced expired uh, by common consent of all these present. Expiration was caused by an overdose of insulin. I see, so they died due to an overdose of insulin. I administered the dose myself at 6.12. Death did not occur for a further 13 minutes. Three times the expected figure. I wonder what to what extent Gray should still be considered a man. What in the heck is going on here? This is some suspect weird stuff. Looks like Oliver's dead, by the way. He didn't make it very far. Okay, who said that? It's not even funny. Can't have been Oliver. He's been dead a long time. At least I hope he's dead, because I just stood all over him. Trigger interface. Now, you can actually get past this without doing this little puzzle. You can just drag these things over here, but... I'm gonna do the puzzle. We need them all to be green, but I don't know how to achieve that. I hope it doesn't take me too long to figure this out. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long, you know, it seems like a simple act of just pressing every button at once until something happens. Wait, hold on, I liked what I saw there. Yes! Okay, I don't know how I did that, but yes! Hopefully you guys don't have much trouble figuring it out, because I, I don't really know how it works, so I can't explain it to you. A message board full of scratch marks. Yikes, that is unsettling. To today's keep the unpure out. A food menu, not used to food anymore. Oh, okay, I see. That was confusing for a little bit, but... Nice. Lunch. Oh, today's lunch. Replaced with keep the unpure out. The unpure being infected. One open. Looks like that device could be some sort of lock. This device is linked with the door. It must be some sort of lock. What's this? The, there's a pin sized hole at the center of the device, and the display reads only trusted blood will get through. Oh, I see. So they, they set up this defensive mechanism for the door so that anyone with. Infected blood can't go through these doors. Interesting. Poker tour Friday night. Be there. No thanks. Be gone, foul planks of wood. I have places to be, places to go, things to do. Get out of my way. Boom. 
Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go. I love the level design in this game already. Really top notch stuff. Oh, I should have read that first. More boxes. As always, Philip. A bottle of medicinal alcohol. Ooh, there were batteries on there. Dated 1994, Hurricane John still rages in the Pacific and has become the longest lasting tropical cyclone ever recorded. Interesting. These things are everywhere. There's still part of me that's in there. Something that's drawing me in. I know it's worrying, Philip. It's, uh... More than a little concerning that there is literally a part of you in there at all times. Bada bing bada boom, nothing in there. Put the cassette into the player. My name, Elof Carpenter. Rank, elevated, status, code C, imprisoned. Observing the turn gat movement, I predict that it will be my cell they visit next. To my knowledge, I am the last remaining member of the Elevated at this facility. And so it falls upon me to ensure that Xeno Protocol is not compromised. For that reason, I record here the only way I have discovered to neutralize the vital brain. The species Where am I gonna find some- No! Please! I don't know where we're gonna find that. I'm afraid to give you this bad news, Philip, but... We're not gonna find a place out of this alive. When their primary weakness is... Unavailable. But in all seriousness, uh... In all seriousness... That dude should've talked a little faster. Or at the very least, while he was being torn apart, just say what the weakness is. But it was very interesting. We learned, um... We learned that the fellow was... Had discovered their weakness, so they do have a weakness. We also learned that it's turn... Gate? Turn gate? No, turn gate. The turn gate, that's it. It's not, it's not turn gate, like I've been saying this whole time. It's turn gate. So I'm sorry to everyone that was frustrating by saying turn gate. What else, uh... That dude, we men he mentioned Xeno again, so he's part of that Xeno people group thing, which is really interesting. I'm looking forward to learning more about that. Rest in peace, that dude, I suppose. It's a shame he couldn't give me the, uh, the weakness of the creature in his final moments, but... You know, it is what it is. I guess it got to him too quickly and, you know, he was being loud and stuff. Can't say for sure. Some sort of safety instructions. A locked door. Blood. Another locked door. I bet there's some useful stuff in there. Darn that lock. The wall has partially crumbled and is now piling on the floor. Yeah, this place is clearly old. Hey, this is the place we were stuck in earlier. Full circle. You know, that creature was around here, wasn't it? Uh, we heard the screaming. Oh, that's what this is! Oh, maybe that's what the recorder was, but then why would the cassette be in there? I think it's some sort of fuse box. It must control the electronics in this section of the facility. Locked. No way I'll pry this open with my bare hands. You're so weak, Philip. Daniel... Would, would have, I just realized I don't know his last name. Well, he's the uncle of Oswald Mendes, so I guess his full name is Daniel Mendes. Daniel Mendes would be able to tear this off with his bare hands, but you, Philip, you may be smarter, but you are certainly not stronger, you weak little baby potato man. Alright, I'm thoroughly freaked out, but the door should be unlocked. I thought it was still locked. I was scared there for a moment. Actually, no, I'm, I'm still scared. This atmosphere is freaking me out. Philip, are you, are you must be desensitized to all this blood and stuff, because you have no comment about this. You would have had a comment about it last time. 
screw all of these boxes. I doubt there's anything important in it. Mine. Ooh, a syringe. In real life, the scariest object to find lying around. In video games, the most useful object. Oh no. What the hell was that? Where can I hide? There are so many places to hide, Philip. Just use your eyes, you big goofball. Open them. Anyone there? Oh! Yeah, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay. Hopefully it's blind like every other horror game monster. Oh, there's danger. There's danger. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Wee woo. Oh, I bet it's bald and ugly. Oh, it's bald and ugly. You there. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. That's not closing. Okay, I'm getting out of here. So slow and stupid. But I want to see what's behind it. Oh yeah, juke him. Oh no, it's right behind me. It's right behind me. I see it's dumb flashlight. The power of metal. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You're so stupid and slow. I'm gonna lock you in here. That's how slow you are. <laughs> the door's closed, the door's closed. I couldn't close the door. I'm so embarrassed. I couldn't close the door. <sighs> Wouldn't it be? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, we're, we're locking you in there forever. You're you're out of here. Strike one, you're out, buddy. You, you couldn't get me. You're not getting out of there, that's for sure. I'm as fit as can be expected. What do you mean? You just got your entire back whipped by that thing's strong arm. Dude, the numbers really gotta step up their game with the strength of their enemies. That guy, that guy was too slow and easy to dodge. They're scary until you actually have a one-on-one -on -one encounter with them and then you just, you treat them like a joke and then you escape and it's, they suck, man. <laughs> But great design, great lore. I love the enemies, don't get me wrong, just the AI could use some work. Boom. I used the alcohol to clean and sterilize the syringe from all the old dry blood. It was dirty, by the way. I kind of just used that without showing you guys why we needed to use it. I just remembered that it was dirty and we needed to use the alcohol in it to get the blood from this guy because he's security personnel and he's uninfected, so we can go in there. There, I filled the syringe with blood from the corpse. Bet you never thought you'd have to say that in your life, huh, Philip? You can now enter the safe area. Well, that did the trick, then. If this stronghold was anything like as was anything like as elaborate as its security, I was in for an experience. I didn't know what to expect, but I was getting used to that. Yeah, desensitization. I can tell you're getting very desensitized to it all. Welcome to the shelter, thank you. Another fuse box, this one seems to be broken. Oh, yeah, I can see. It's got no fuse. I believe that's the master switch for the power. You've got a note here. You're too late, sorry. We packed up and left today. It's been six months since we established this stronghold and a year since we released the Turngate, Turngate, Turngate virus. Clearly, there's no one coming to rescue us. We took a vault and decided to head for the old mine shafts. This installation was built over, right towards the start of the troubles. One of the scientists got out that way. We haven't heard back from him, but you never know. The vault was eight free in favor. Anyone returning at this point, I suggest you do. Anyone returning to this point, I suggest you do the same. There couldn't be more than a few survivors out there even now, and more and more of our number are disappearing, losing it or getting infected. You can make it out via the sewers, then into the shafts. Eventually, we'll all have to find a way up and through the ice. We may yet die of cold, but it's better than we expect. But it's better than what happened to Gray. The only person that may still be out there is Howard, kind of our leader. He left the base a few weeks ago, and that's part of what led us of what's led us to this. He would converted the kitchen into an office and was translating some old texts. When he claimed to have found a way to counteract the disease, guess he didn't make it. Oh, Amabel Carlito, the sous chef.
Things clearly went downhill around here, and there's a lot of blood on this. It's crazy to think that all of that, uh, all of this was happening while Red was suffering, Tom Redwood was stuck and suffering in the mines section of the facility. Bow from the smell of it, I'd say the crap is drenched, inside is drenched with gasoline. Yikes, that's gross. Boom. Get out of there. You don't deserve to be on a shelf. Which is where you ultimately belong. Get out of there. There's batteries behind you. Boom. Bada bing. Okay, I give up. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. A drainage of sorts. It sure is locked tight. Sure is. We need to activate the emergency. Apparently this door is controlled from a remote location. However, it says here that it does open in the event of emergency. Exactly. We need to trigger an emergency event, my friend. Bada bing, bada boom. I gotta stop saying that a room. That kind of maybe rhymed, but it didn't make any sense. Zoom. Gotta get it under the... There we go. Problem solved. Put me under the water. I'm parched. You know, actually, I bet you, si uh, not Simon, because uh, I'm playing uh, Cry of Fear. I ended up saying Simon, but I bet you Philip is parched. Plates from when people were eating here. Clearly, they didn't have time to clean up. Also, what is with this, like, this is just a whole entire trash bag, but it's flatter than the ground itself. What kind of cereal is this? Tasty Flakes? Get that out of here, Tasty Flakes. What kind of name? Tasty Flakes, it's jammed. Tasty Flakes, what kind of name is Tasty Flakes? Frying pan? Were they eating from the frying pan? It won't open, no visible lock. Access is probably controlled elsewhere. Ew, did someone throw up? What is that? Anything in the cupboards? Probably not. Hopefully there's something good. The broken fridge. Anything in the ovens? Any cooked food? That better not be what I think it is. Tasty flakes, get out of here. Oh, I wish I could burn them. Maybe I can burn them. Oh no, the fire's out. You know what belongs in this? Tasty Flakes. An unpleasant order is coming from the drain. What happened to the bin lid? Wasn't there a bin lid? I threw it, I threw it over here somewhere. That's crazy. Everything's always disappearing all the time. Boom. Oh! Yeah, this is one of the collectibles in this game, which I plan on collecting all of them. Strange artifact. Filthy grease with years of abuse. And I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of weird statue? It almost looks like a collector's item. The atmosphere in this game is great. It's a big step up from Penumbra so far. And Penumbra had great atmosphere. But this one's even stronger. He made his office in the freezer? You crazy, crazy man. Your father was crazy, Philip. Documents and articles, mostly to do with ancient languages and translations. It seems Howard left when the going uh, got uh, got rough. When things went down, he left. Well, not when things went down, but not long before things went down, he left. Which, you know, might be for the best. And why'd he carve tea into this thing anyways? A timeline of events. I copied the text of the screen to my notebook. Well, this should be a good read. 1910. Northwestern lead mine opened. Lead mine, bruh. 17th of August, 1930. University of Copenhagen research suggests high local suicide rates may be due to chemical deposits in the mine. 3rd of September, 1939. World War II breaks out. 1st of December, 13, uh, 1939. Part of lead mine converted into British command bunker. 14th of August, 1945. 
World War II ended. And about not too far after, um, after, uh, Amnesia the Dark Descent, like 50 years, roughly. And then not too long, especially not too long before Amnesia the Bunker and, um, Amnesia Rebirth. Nine, uh, 15th of August 1945, Commanding Officer files report an ancient artifact discovered during routine maintenance. I remember that, I was, uh, I was there when I saw the note for it. 1952, Northwestern lead mine shut down. 1954, new lead and iron operations opened on site of old mine. 1969, malformed local fauna prompts assignment of Dr. J. Peters to the iron mine. Dr. Peters in 1970 discovers abnormally large species of grey rock worm. 21st of August, 1972, accident involving large-scale deaths causes entire mining operation to be shut down. Many bodies are never recovered. Yikes. 19th of January, 1973, Archaic becomes, unaware, uh, becomes aware of events in Greenland. 1st of April, 1973, construction begins on Shelter Research Station on site of abandoned Northwestern Iron Mine. 1975, shelter construction complete. Key members include Overseer Brent Stafferson, Chemist Troy Retskin, Retonisk, and Translator Howard Lafrisk. 1990, uh, Shelter Operations expand to secondary excavation sites including Site B Water Cave. Troy Retonisk replaced by Neil Oswald as attending chemist at Site B. Substance 63 and Artifact 66B discovered at Site B in 1992. Site B closed due to hostile local fauna. 3rd March 2000. Oh, whoopsie daisies. Primary excavation uncovers Turngat Wu Tomb. Excavation continued despite protests of from Howard Lefrisk, alright, so Papa didn't want to go there. 27th of April 2000, investigation of Turngat Tomb, scheduled by Chief Overseer. Wilbur Frisk, a name which I will again bring up later on. Really fascinating, very cool. Enjoyed reading all of that. Most interesting. I love stuff like this. This is a. Um, I love it when games have like in depth lore and stuff like that. It's great. There's something reassuring about that feeling, like I've got one less thing to worry about. Yeah, for sure. CD-ROM drive. No disc in, I imagine, yep. Research, text. Ooh, Howard's research. My research has uncovered something fascinating. Time and time again, I warned Overseer Frisk I needed time to perform a full textual analysis before my translation could be considered complete. He went ahead with the excavation anyway, and now he's paid the price. This facility's security level is high enough that no trace of it exists beyond the confines of these walls. Not even the archaic central cast has records of its location. In fact, the only link to this place in the outside world is the notes I left behind many years ago. However, since the virus was released over one year ago, no rescue attempts have been made. Not one person has tried to enter the facility. Just before the virus was released, I sent a message out to someone I could trust. I can only assume that my son Philip has received the note and done as I asked. No matter what happens down here, at least I can rest easy in knowing no trace remains of this place. That the secrets will stay buried here. Yikes, I have bad news. I've learned over the years never to put too much thought, or never to put too much weight on any one discovery. But the information I now hold is vital not just to our survival but the future of our species. First thing in the morning, I intend to call on volunteers to set out into the affected area of the shelter. No one will come, but I shall ask all the same. I'll make a move for the library research station first, and then it's all its unknown variables. After that, I shall simply have to put my faith in this discovery. If I am wrong about this, I will barely make it through residential. To think I left my family for this place, for this organization, which is more horrible, that I have sacrificed something so dear, or that I do not regret it for a second. Howard Lefrisk, Chief Translator. I copied the documents of the note to my notebook. 236 is locked. Uh, we need a password, okay. So freaking interesting. I love all of this lore. So cool. Put the disc in there. 
The CD slid in perfectly. I should be able to read it now. Welcome to Shelter Research Station. Green Thank you. Shelter is an almost entirely self-sufficient installation built in the 70s to further serve the purposes of the archaic elevated caste in their pursuit and defense of ancient knowledge. As a new member of the facility, there are some basic rules you should be aware of in order to be useful to the archaic. Shelter provides living facilities, including a mess hall, gymnasium, and medical bay, in addition to the stipulated array of laboratories, chemical and biological, workstations, excavation equipment, and security. Please use the former at your leisure, but expect to be assigned to the latter with a moment's notice. Second, due to the nature of our work here, should you feel in any way ill, lightheaded, or otherwise mentally incapacitated, do not report to the medical facility. Fasten yourself securely to whatever solid object may be available, attempt to seal all connecting doors, and await retrieval by our trained professionals. In a worst case scenario, be prepared to swallow your personal cyanide capsule, which will be issued after this briefing. The Archaic hates to lose its treasured staff, but it may be for the good of the operation. We know you will enjoy your work with us. Well, not so much now that you said all of that. I could have gone my whole life without any of that. What is this freaking, like, SCP containment facility type place? What, what's going on here? Important update. The following pers password changes have been made since the printing of your personal guide. Right, 1167, don't forget that. As always, the above information is strictly confidential and not to be spread among other members. Welcome to Shelter Research Station Greenland. Shelter- oh, what the- I already read all of this. Or heard all of it anyways. So it seems that once you're infected, there's no hope and they would much rather you died than cause trouble for other people. 1167. Boom. Door unlocked. Alright, I guess we'll just move forward. There's one trash bag perfectly in the middle of this room. How did I accomplish such an incredible feat? And cinematically under the light too? Don, take a picture of that. Door is unlocked. I just gave Philip a concussion as usual, just like old times. Bag. Nothing. Worthless bag, worthless bag. Flare. What happened to my coin? Oh yeah, I used it for the soda. The soda that Philip doesn't want to drink. King Arthur flower. What a royal cooking material. Royal pain in my butt. Get out of here. Go with the trash where you belong. Ah, boom, that's the wall. Well, you may as well taste the wall, because you probably taste like a wall. Ha! Ah. Oh, that's not what I expected. That freaks me out. I'm getting out of here. I'm freaked out. Officially freaked out. I'll leave you. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't just jump down there. Magnificent looking area as usual. I just love this so much. The passage caved in long ago. I'm just so interested in this game. It does a great job of building up intrigue and this stuff is dripping on me. No, that's gross. Ew. I won't be able to get through here. Whatever you do, Philip, just don't scream or anything that would cause this stuff to get in your mouth. Not the slugs again. The sewers seemed like the only route out, but it wasn't out- It wasn't out I wanted anymore. My father has found something, and I needed to know what. Without that, everything would have been for nothing. I'm not going back this way. Ah! Ah! Those are- those are slugs! Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh no! No, 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 no. I hear the worm again, which freaks me out in ways you can't even imagine, so I very much plan on moving forward. It's great that Philip has newfound inspiration and uh, drive, motivation, all that good stuff to move forward, especially after he lost his best friend. Hmm, a valve. I'm just gonna pretend like I don't hear that whispering. Interesting. Okay, back in the boat. I know this place. I've been here before. 
a perfect picture of this room, almost. I love this music playing in the background. Out of all the music in the in like all of the frictional horror games, the music I always find myself loving the most are like the chase music or uh, the the there's just like quiet soundtracks like this one. We need a chest under there, not a bucket. Get out of here. Try and drag you safely under here. Step one complete. Uh, I guess we'll... There's no chair in the image, so I'll just move you over here. Soup can is on the bench. And we need a second barrel for over there. Why'd that light kind of jump scare me? I kind of like widened my eyes and got a bit spooked because of this darn thing. There we go, there we go. Got a barrel, got uh What are we missing? What are we missing here? What do you mean, almost? This just simply is a perfect picture of this room. What could I be missing? Go on the corner. Oh yeah, there's no Jack Daniels on the desk. Or oh, Jack Daniels. No, not the spiders again. A picture of... I'm not sure. Eggs? Oh, these barrels are filled with ashes. I don't like how that, wor that, that, that light looks like worms. Okay, alright. Yeah, we don't need to mess with that. Smells like blunt, burnt flesh. Blunt, blah, 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 blah. Blah. All right, buddy. The fur the surface is slippery and with a leathery texture. Oh gosh, of course it is. All right, we in good tonight. Let's see what's in here. I, I guess. Oh my goodness. Ah, no, 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 no. We don't play those games. Okay, what was the point of that other than freaking me out? Oh! Was I a woman? Why did I scream like that? Philip was so high pitched. That's not normally how he sounds when he gets hit. Most wimpiest Philip has ever sounded. Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh, it's back! It's back as. Oh, what's the. Freak! Bye, buddy. Can I go after it? Can I see what happens if I go after him? Oh my goodness, what was that? This area is weird, it's freaking me out. Oh, I have a light. And more meat. So we don't do that one. Do we do this one and then... No, uh, this one? This one? This one, and this one. Well, okay, no, I guess I suck. What the heck? This one? This one? Huh? This one? This one? Okay, this one? Alright. Sweet. The hand is warm to the touch. Need to get this door open. Say less, Philip. Say less. Maybe I'm not playing as Philip, though. I don't know. It's hard to tell, because... I don't know. That, that voice, when, uh, when Philip got hit, sounded different. Plus, there's this weird voice in the background. An electrical switch. There's a tiny inscription reading. There are two and there are two. T there are twos and threes in this world. There are twos and threes in this world. So one barrel and this, and then. Oh wait. 
Uh, yeah, then one barrel and the blue, maybe? Maybe? Uh, I feel like I'm wrong on that. One, two... I'm not sure what the... What the hint there is. There are twos and threes in this world. It's clearly hinting at something, but I don't... I don't get it. A noose, box, red. Oh yeah, the noose caught on fire. There are twos and threes in this world. Do I have to make it in a way so that... Hmm... Um... Most curious? Indeed. I am confused. I'm just gonna keep randomly moving them on things until something happens. Since I, I don't think I'll be able to figure out the hint. Who's in freeze in this world? What could that mean? Well, there's two yellows. One, two, three, and three blues. So one on the yellow, one on the blue, and one on the yellow? No, that turned the fire off. So only one on the yellow. Weird. I must have been getting close since the uh, fire was going on. How can I activate that fire again? Alright. Alright. So... The yellow and the green there must be right. I just got to figure out what this one goes on. At least I think that's the case. Doesn't look like it is. Maybe, maybe the first one doesn't go on the yellow. Oh, okay. We, I was right. I'm guessing you mean the Mindscape? Ooh, that was a swift clean turn. The fan. This is all red stuff, like Tom Redwood stuff. It's a bloodstained lever. I'm sure there's lots of symbolism here for Tom Redwood. Oh, well that's not even symbolism, that's just outright. Red, I'm so sorry. Are you happier now? Morbid. Morbid as all heck. Rest in peace, buddy. It's a valve with bloody handprints all over it. Don't like that sound. I just heard the worm again. I'm gonna hurry up. Here or where? Oh, whoopsies! I've heard these sounds before. And what ensues after. I'm sorry, I didn't fully hear what Philip said. I was too busy being scared. No. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get out of here! Get out of here, you, you barrel freak! I am in danger! Oh, oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead, guys! Any last words? Any last words? Oh my goodness! Oh, oh. Face my beast! Wow! Well... The door's back, and... And I'm thoroughly freaked out now. I just want to get out of here. That was... Oh gosh, that was embarrassing. I panicked a little bit, not gonna lie. Alright. I, I do actually remember. I have managed to escape that worm like two times before and it normally disappears when you reach here. It doesn't matter what happens, but 
for some reason I couldn't. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I got no excuses. I was just scared and not thinking straight. Dude, Philip's a bit dazed at the moment. Whoever you are. I don't even think he thinks you're real. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did I sink to the bottom like a ton of bricks? I was busy trying to think of things to say about that guy. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Very interesting. The physics in this game can be a little odd sometimes. Like, I'm not sure how feasible this all is, but oh no, there we go again, sinking like bricks. At least I didn't take damage this time. Pretty impressive you're walking underwater like that, Philip. Weirdest water ever, I swear, dude. Very nice, very nice. I think, I think, uh, yeah, this might actually be enough. I think I can actually make it with this, to be honest. Slowest swimmer ever. It's a good thing you don't have to run from creatures that are in the water, Philip. Boom, that was perfect. Mario would be jealous. I love the sound design in this game too. I just love everything about this game. It's very nice. I'm very nostalgic for it too. It's been a long time um, since I fully sat through this game and paid any attention at all. I think I can do without going back into the sewers. That's for sure. I could really use a shower. I can bet. I've had better days. There's a foul smell coming from it. Shame you can't see what Philip looks like. That would have been cool. Judging from the smell, I'd say the piping isn't working. Yeah, it's rough. I'm actually gonna end it here after I get this save. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. There I go saying bada bing, bada boom again. Every time it's harder to pull out. Every time I feel myself, more of myself inside. Oh gosh, yeah, those things are really untrustworthy. The flashlight does go better and I do actually like the way it looks more, but it drains so fast that I might as well just use the glow stick. I know, it's hard to say. I like both lighting a lot in this game. I like all the lighting in this game. It looks really cool. Anyways, this has been the first part of Penumbra Black Plague. What can we talk about with this one? Well, before I do talk about this game, I want to apologize if I seemed off through the recording. I had a long day feeling tired, uh, but I've had a, I feel great. I had a great time playing this. It was awesome. If I seem not myself, it's just because I'm tired. That's all. But um, yeah, Philip is still great. You can tell he's like been very numbed to everything. He's very desensitized to. He's still very eager to get answers, but he's not as- he's not the same as when he first came here. He's fed up, uh, tired. Um, he doesn't care as much. He's much more desensitized to all the death destruction and all of that. And you can tell Red's death has had a big effect on him. And now we have this second voice being introduced. who's very interesting. Uh, not much sense can be made from what he's saying right now, and I bet the two most surprised people of his existence are the vice itself and Philip, who is hearing the vice. Man, this music is so good, the one in the background. The, everything about Black Plague is clearly a step up so far, in my opinion. Like, 
the graphics look better, the lighting's better. Um, the level design is also... I don't know, it's pretty similar, but I would say I lean more into liking the level design in Black Plague more than Overture. Uh, there's something I will miss a lot is red, but hopefully this new voice we're hearing will substitute as a nice, uh... I, I don't want to say replacement, because nothing can replace red, but... As a good, like... Successor. Very excited to see what that's going to be like, and how they mix well with red and whatnot, and what they're going to go for with the new character. Um... We're learning a bit more about Howard, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't really talk about it at the end of last game. Or maybe I did, I can't really remember, but... I was very excited to see how they handle Howard and everything about that. We're learning more about the, uh, the Archaic, which appears to be the Xeno. Uh, they appear to be the same thing. Can't wait to learn more about the law of the Archaic and everything that happened. It's going to be so great. You definitely feel like Overture was just the beginning and Dark Plague... Uh, Black Plague, sorry. We're really getting back into the, um... We're getting into the meat and potatoes of the story. Hmm. I like the inclusion of this collectible, by the way. Very nice, very interesting. I look forward to catching them all. I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, attacked Philip and dragged him here, but in all likelihood it was probably the turn get. It was probably that creature we saw earlier in the Let's Play. Interesting design, it's obviously one of the infected humans, so we're replacing infected dogs for infected humans, very interesting. Um, it was saying things, but I wasn't really paying any attention to what it was saying, because I was too worried about getting my entire glutinous, glutinous, gluteus maximus being torn off by that creature. Um, I think I said, who are you, you there? When I turned around and it saw me and it was coming after me, I was terrified, goodness me. But it's unfortunate because the AI is still so lackluster, you know. The danger of these creatures is minimal at best. Um, it, I couldn't really... It, it's hard to be scared of something that's so easy to avoid. Dodging them is easy. Um, the only reason I got hit at all all was because I messed about and I was trying to close the door on it for funsies. But Philip, you know, Philip can't do anything to save his life. Anything physical, that is. Couldn't close the door to save his life. And that thing hit him on the way out. But even then, when I looked at my health next, Philip was like, I'm as healthy as can be. You know, fit as can be expected. Dude, you just got your crap kicked in by a monster. How are you fine? So, that, And this is hard mode, by the way. They're supposed to be faster, more damaging, all that good stuff. The, the only threat so far has been the cold steam in the beginning in the vents. Which is a shame because it's such a good law, it's such a good design, it's such a good sound design. Um, I love it, it's a great monster. But the AI backing it up is just not delivering, you know. I think they went too... Like... They went too easy on it because they didn't want you to be, um... In too much danger, I don't think. They didn't want you to be... Uh, well, this is all spitballing, of course. I don't know why, but I feel like they just didn't want it to be too challenging. You know, in case you quit permanently. That's just a guess, anyways. Uh, could have been any reason. Still, messing about with them is fun. The story's direction so far is very interesting. I've loved moving throughout this facility. It's been great. Um... And that little dream sequence with all the, like, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? With all the, um, gosh, I said it not long ago, too. It's so annoying. But, like, the, the symbolism, that's the word I'm looking for. About, uh, um, Philip's psyche, you know, his mind. And how much of an impact Red had on him. I'm sure a lot can be unstrewed, uh, if that's the right word, for all the stuff that happened, like, um, like all the blood on the levers and the wheels and stuff in the final area, you know, representing how Philip feels he has blood on his hands now, 
for what he's done to Red, even if Red asked him to do it, and he had no choice. He could have just left the room, but he wouldn't have been able to move on anyways, because Phil uh, not Philip, Red, Tom Redwood was holding the key. Unfortunately, Philip had no choice, but he still had the blood of his hands, and I think that was, you know, the game's way of showing that he feels guilty about it. Not that we needed to be um, informed about that. We already knew he feels guilty about it. It's, it's evident in the way he talks about it and his reaction to Red's death. Um... What else can I say? Soundtrack. Soundtrack in this game is phenomenal so far. Primarily in this this kind of soundtrack in the background is my favorite. The more mellow. And um, it's just very beautiful. I love listening to it. It's very serene. And I think it fits Philip a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if what's playing right now is Philip's theme because I, I, I think it fits him a lot. I do wonder what would have happened if uh, Philip just earned all the stuff his father gave him, which was the original plan, but Howard didn't realize just how much his son was like him. How could he? He left before he could ever see Philip grow and mature. Little did Howard know Philip is so much like him. I mean, even Howard was, you know, uh, he didn't regret any of this. He's, this is all an experience he's happy about. From what I can gather. And I'm sure Philip in some way um, does not regret anything he's been through in this place except the murder of Red, the killing of Red. That I'm sure he regrets, but everything else I think is something he would go through again. Because he is very much a explorer. Uh, maybe not as much of a scientist as his dad, but he's very much you know, a scientist in a sense. This game continues to be very interesting. I love everything about it so far. No complaints except for the monsters AI, of course. Um, I'm very excited to see where it goes. So far, I'm liking it more than Overture. Uh, the only thing that I liked more in Overture so far was Red. Um, but, you know, we'll see how the successor does, this new voice that Philip's going to be hearing. I'm enjoying this game a lot more than I'm not, that's for sure. And I can't wait to learn more about the lore and the secrets and all of that, the answers. There were so many questions in Overture, and we need a lot of answers, as does Philip. I believe I already saved, I don't have to worry about that. An old artifact. So, thank you all so much for watching. I still don't have an outro as usual, but I'll see you all in the next video. I'm still working on the 50 subscriber special and some other big videos to wrap up some old series I had, like uh, Andy and Lele. But uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you so much for watching and all that good stuff. I pressed the wrong button. I haven't done that in a little while. I'll punch myself every time I press the wrong button. Uh, bye for now.